Hey guys, Constance here. So I don't usually film first thing in the morning. However, Mr. Smith has asked that we have a big old breakfast. We don't do breakfast very often, but he has been craving pancakes of all things. And so I thought, well, I'm going to make him some pancakes. And I figured I would bring you guys in the kitchen and make breakfast with me. Or us if he joins me here in the cooking process. So first thing I've got my oven preheating to 400 degrees because I'm going to bake some bacon. I have plenty of bacon drippings in my fridge and so I will use that to cook up some eggs later. Um, but I like to bake the bacon because it's just it's easy and you could just take the the baking sheet, the cookie sheet, and just pour that bacon dripping goodness into a jar to use later so you don't have to um, do it in a skillet so when I'm doing whole slices of bacon I like to bake it All right, so I've got my dry ingredients for my pancakes here. I've got a cup of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and a pinch of cinnamon. Now I'm gonna add in my liquid, which officially this would call for buttermilk, but I almost never have buttermilk in the house. And so I just do the milk and lemon juice trick. So I get asked a lot uh, whether I wash my eggs or not and when I say yes I get some people who just get very irate about that why do you wash your eggs well here's the thing and I've talked about this in the past um, eggs can be dirty and bacteria is microscopic <laughs> so just because your eggs look clean doesn't necessarily mean that they are clean and I just like to err on the side of caution I don't want my family getting sick. I mean, I, I don't think that's that big of a deal. Now, I don't wash my eggs until right before I, I use them though, because eggs have what is called a bloom or a cuticle, and that is a coating that is on the egg that protects the egg, because eggshells are porous, and that bloom keeps the egg from absorbing bad things. All right, so I added my cup of faux butter milk, uh, two tablespoons of melted butter, and my beaten egg. 
Now I'm just going to whisk these together a little bit. And I'm going to add a splash of vanilla extract. And there we go. Pancake batter is ready. So as I was saying, the bloom of the chicken egg protects the egg from things getting in through the shell. And so I leave that bloom, that protective coating on there as long as I can. And then I just wash the eggs right before I need to use them. And so to me, that gives me the best of both options in my eyes. So when I'm making pancakes, I always do one test pancake to make sure that my skillet is the right temperature, that it doesn't cook too fast or that it doesn't cook too slow. And so by doing the test one, I know that I'm good and I can go ahead and do a whole bunch. The pancakes are going in the oven as I cook them. That way they can stay nice and warm because I just baked that bacon and so the oven is off but it's still nice and toasty in there. So the pancakes will stay nice and warm while I'm doing the rest of it. Alrighty, so breakfast is done. Mr. Smith was able to take a break um, from work. He has meetings and Zoom and all that stuff, you know, teleworking. So Mr. Smith came in here. We had some breakfast. There was a little bit left over, so the doggies got some treats as well. They loved that. Mr. Smith says, did you like your breakfast? I'm like, they love everything. <laughs> So, 
on the agenda for today, once it warms up outside, will be cleanup. Outside is a bit of a wreck. There's just, yeah, there's just some cleanup that needs to be happening. Uh, we've got a bunch of fencing scraps and some broken T-posts and just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff outside that we're we're not really going to have a use for. You know, small scraps of fencing I will hang on to because you never know when you might need something. But if it's completely bent out of shape and unusable, there's no point. And so we will haul that all off. Um, our local uh, landfill place recycles stuff like that so metals um all all sorts of things so all of that will go into the recycle bin there and we will clean up a little bit around here so it is cold and crisp outside at the moment but this afternoon it will warm up and that is what it will be today so thanks for hanging out and making breakfast with me here in the homestead kitchen i will talk to you all next time